Joe Secretary of State, Claire yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr Speaker. And I will just briefly say that yesterday the Secretary of State said I was hiding when I was, in fact, with my six-month-old baby, whom I know yeah, he's yeah. aware of. So on behalf of all young mums who face these kinds of comments in their first few weeks back to work, can I gently suggest he reflects on those remarks? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, can I ask the Secretary of State a very simple question? Is £82 higher or lower than £72? <laughs> First point, I completely respect her decision to be with her young baby, and there was no offence uh, intended. I think it's very, very important that we understand the needs of uh, new parents and indeed parents across uh, the country. On the, uh, on the question uh, she asked, I don't know what she's getting at, frankly. So he doesn't know. Mr Speaker, I don't know if he doesn't know or he doesn't want to say, but £72 a megawatt hour, that's what electricity cost last year. £82, that's the price he's paid for offshore wind, and he's set to do the same this year. And that's before the extra costs for grid for wasted wind and backup, which are going through the roof thanks to his policies. Yesterday, he committed to radical honesty. In that spirit, will he either admit that he can't add up or that his policies can't bring down bills? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be radically honest and tell her the truth, Mr Speaker, which is this. She is gambling on fossil fuels, the same thing she did which led us to the worst cost of living crisis in our country's history. Family finance is wrecked, businesses finance is wrecked and public finances wrecked. And the only way to bring down bills for good is cheap homegrown power that we control. We have an energy security plan, they have an energy surrender plan.